Hello, thanks for being here. Today I'll be making a skillet pineapple upside down cake. Let's get started. Now first I have this um, cast iron skillet. I sprayed it with Pam just in case. And um, I have it on the lowest setting. I have four tablespoons of butter. I'm going to get this in here. And we're going to let it melt slowly because we don't want it to cook and and, and, and start browning or anything, so we're just going to let it take its time. You could have also just put it in the microwave, I guess, and melted it and poured it in. But anyway, so now I have some brown sugar. I'm using light. Oops, whoops, moving too fast. I'm sorry. Give me a minute. No, we have to. Yeah. Crazy. Give me y'all. Let's put some brown sugar in here. Probably use about three fourths of a three fourths of a cup or so. You don't want to put too too much. That should about do it there. I'm gonna take my pineapple. Machine of cherries. Let's get these in here. Like that. And we're just going to set this aside for a minute while we get our batter together should have told you earlier but um, after opening my pineapples I took a fourth of a cup of the juices and set them aside we're going to use them in a few I have two eggs that I'm going to separate hopefully let's see how this goes sometimes the shells are so super soft I'm going to just take these and beat these for a minute so they get thick. About a minute or two, don't stress yourself about it, just let them go. See how this got gotten thick, kind of creamy, and if I didn't mention it, my oven is at 325, and so now I have uh, three-fourths of a cup of sugar. We're just going to add this in gradually, okay? Okay. Here we go. I'm going to beat this up for a couple minutes or however long it takes for it to just uh, start to turn a pale color. Not so bright yellow. Too bad. The fourth of a cup of pineapple juice. We're just going to add it in. Mix that until, until it comes together. Just want you to see how it's come together. Now, here I have three fourths of a cup of all purpose flour, and to that I'm going to add a pinch of salt. Just a pinch. 
I'm going to add um, a half a teaspoon of baking powder. So we can all have it all together already. And take that. Just mix it together. Don't worry about it. Don't go crazy. Just mix it together. It's all going in anyway. Before I do that, I have some vanilla extract. I'm going to add just about a half a half of a, a, a cap full. This is a big cap, so get that in there. And I have some almond extract. Now these um, extracts are actually um, optional. You don't have to put it in if you don't want to. I just like to add that extra delicious flavor. We're going to get this mixed and then we're going to add in our flour, okay? Just add it in a little at a time. Get it mixed together. Keep adding a little at a time until it's all incorporated. Okay, that's mixed well. Let me turn it down. Get these out of here. I'm going to rinse these off. I'm going to set this side aside for a minute. I'm going to rinse these off. Ooh, if I got something in there, they, it won't, uh, it won't, um, you know, it won't act right. <laughs> I think I got a little speck of, uh, of that batter in there. So I'm going to rinse these off. And these are the two egg yolks, I mean two egg whites that we set aside. We're just going to beat these until it gets nice and fluffy. Skip peaks as they call it. Make sure you do it on the highest speed. It'll happen quicker. See the peaks? That's what you wanted to do. Okay. So we're going to bring our batter back. I'm going to take this and put it in here. These egg whites, put them in. And we're going to just fold them. We're not going to mix it. Just fold them. See, I'm just folding it in. Get it mixed in there well. Now that it's all incorporated, it only took a couple of turns. Don't overdo it. I'm going to bring back. And we're going to put it in. I'm going to add some here, there, and we're going to spread it out. That oven is ready. 325. 325. Let's get this in here. This is the 8 inch pan, by the way. me the, the really big one. I don't know. Is it 12 or something? That's about the only one that I don't have that I need in my arsenal of pots and pans. <laughs> Let me see. We're going in. We're going to set our timer for um, let's say 50 minutes. It's going to take about 45 or 50 minutes. You'll know, though. You know how to test the cake. When you touch it and it bounces back, or you can use a toothpick when it goes in. I mean, when it comes out, if it comes out clean, it's ready. 
if it still has batter on it, it isn't. You can do the same thing with a knife. See you in 50. Set that timer. <clears throat> that was for 50 minutes. <clears throat> and I've checked it. And it comes out clean, so therefore it's ready. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to give it about 5 minutes and I'm going to try and flip it out and hope that it comes out perfect. I wish I had a flat plate to sit it on, but here you go. I'm not going to cut it, but I know it's delicious. Hey, thanks for watching, and remember to pray, and then pray some more. Pray for her, him, you, them. Pray for us. Don't stop praying. Pray. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up. You can go ahead and do that right now. I'll wait. Thank you. Subscribe and tap that bell. Share with friends and family and comment. I would love to hear from you. And before you go, let me leave you with this. Psalms 106 and 1. Praise the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord. For He is good. His love endures forever. Hey. I love you. I really do. Later. Make you one. It's easy.